Hey guys, it's Nikki, and uh, I'm back with another card tutorial. And today, the um, paper collection that we're going to be using is by Cane Company. It's the Sweet Nectar, and this is the adhesive paper pack. And it's just got some really fun prints, and I love this um, this um, adhesive bag paper. If you're making a paper bag mini, um, this is really great for that. Which is why I'm doing a card using this. I made a uh, mini album with this um, paper sack, and I had a lot of scraps left over, so I wanted to use those. I also had to pull out a few pieces of paper from the specialty pack and um, these are not sticky back but um, just some really really nice prints in here really fun bright so what we're going to do to start out is I have all these little strips of paper that was just left over from making my paper bag mini and some of them are already adhesive and some are not so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay them out on this piece of yellow cardstock and it was cut at um, five and a quarter by four and this is just going to be a basic A2 size card so we're going to get these adhered down Okay, so we've got all our little strips in here down, and we're just going to trim, use our scissors and trim this off. Okay, so now we've got something that looks like this. have this ribbon, this polka dot ribbon, and this is just some I had in my stash. I think I got it from um, Target out of the dollar bin. What is it going to use a cheater method? Okay. And then um, I'm going to tie a little bow. Okay, so we're going to attach this to our card base. Just got a white card base. Since these patterns were so bright, I just wanted to use a plain card base. Okay, so we have our um, card base adhered and our little ribbon. Now, the embellishment from the front is going to be this very large flower and this um, flourish and I actually got this at Hobby Lobby a couple months ago and I I don't think it's from the Sweet Nectar collection I think it's from like the Citrus collection but it is a K and Company uh, die cut pack and so the first thing we're going to do is adhere this green piece straight onto actually the first thing I'm going to do because this element is so large I'm not going to put a sentiment on the front but I do want one inside and that's where I'm going to stamp this spring has sprung and it's from the uh, making memories flower patch collection and to do that we're going to be using this Martha Stewart um, ink uh, stack and this was actually the Halloween collection but I really like this green in it and it's called Glade it's the color 
So we're just going to ink up our stamp. And I've about used it all up. I've used it a lot. <coughs> And just center this and stamp our sentiment. So there we go. It says spring is sprung and it's really light, but I like it. It's um, that green color. So now we're going to adhere this flourish, this uh, leafy part straight onto the card. I'm just going to position it like so. And then for the large flower I'm going to be using some dimensional um, adhesive. And we're just going to use some scraps that we had left over. Okay, then we're going to put this down. I'm trying to get it where the it doesn't touch the bow. And that is our little card today. Super simple, but it's very bright and cheerful. And we were able to use some scraps. So, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.